From adjusting the default amount to changing the color scheme of the charts, the Preferences section allows you to customize the platform. The window automatically opens on the General tab, where you can adjust default values for manual trading. It is possible to increase or decrease the default amount for a new trade for currencies and precious metals, as well as adjust the default slippage, the difference of your entry order price and market price, and the difference of your take profit stop loss orders from your entry order if applicable. You can set an expiration time for your bid offer orders right here. Lot amount settings can be edited here. To avoid any unintended orders from a stray click, we recommend you deselect the one-click trading. This means you will have to confirm all such orders before they are placed. Chart trading can also be switched off. To exclude accidental conditional orders execution, we advise you to leave orders validation on. If you place an order which is within the market, the system will warn you that your order will be executed at market price. If you want to apply default slippage to all market orders, then turn on this function. You can choose to apply the default time validity, a default stop loss and take profit to all market orders. In the chart section, you can choose how the candle or tick graphs are filtered. Here you can choose how the Sunday daily candles will be filtered. The component below relates to which of your orders and positions appear on the chart. Modifications to the charting area's appearance can be made under the chart options section. Here you can choose to show or hide the grid, as well as pick the default grid size and units in which to draw it. You can also choose to show or hide the last candle tracking, the period separators, candle borders and shape random colours. You can select a line construction method of your choice here. In the period section, you can customise and add your own default time periods. The theme section is the place to customise the appearance of your platform. After choosing a property to edit, you can change its colour, its theme and even font. In Workspace, you can choose to enable auto-saving of your workspace and choose the frequency of it in minutes. Here you can find Strategy, Historical Tester and Full Access Disclaimers. The Advanced tab gives you the possibility to change local cache path, path to store strategies on your hard drive as well as custom indicator, workspace and chart template storage paths. You can also check the options to show Java Memory Heap, Stop Strategies on Exception, Force a Connection and Delete Saved Cache Files. Changing a path requires a restart to take effect.